a man was killed. Then a dispute occurred among the different tribes and divisions of the people as to who murdered the man. Every tribe accused the members of another tribe of the crime and announced that the members of its own tribe were innocent. For its judgment and solution, the problem was brought to Prophet Musa salam. Prophet Musa said to them that Allah orders you to slaughter a cow. With rudeness, they said, Are you trying to make fun of us? Musa said, I seek protection from Allah and I'm not one of the ignorant ones. They said, ask your Lord to make it clear what kind of cow it is. Their rudeness indicates as if Musa salam has a different Lord from their own. Musa salam said, it is a cow not too old and not too young, but at an age in between. In order for them to stop making excuses and try to postpone the fulfillment of the command of Allah, the verse continued, so do what you are commanded. They continued in their arrogance and said, Ask your Lord what color it is. It is a yellow cow, bright in color, pleasing the observers. They said, Ask your Lord to clarify more attributes about the cow, because all cows look alike. It is a perfect and unblemished cow that is not trained to plow the earth or water the fields. They said, Now you have spoken the truth, implying that the previous explanations were not the truth. This accusation showed that they were completely devoid of discipline, were very arrogant and disobedient to their master. They were given a simple command to sacrifice a cow, and any cow would have been sufficient without any specifics. But Allah wanted to expose them for their arrogance and disobedience, and reward those that are obedient and pious. So who owns this cow? There was a very pious and obedient youth to his parents. One day, he purchased something and went home to get money for it. But he saw his father asleep with the keys to the safe beneath his pillow. He did not like to awaken his father. So he returned that purchased thing and cancelled the deal. When his father woke up, he described what happened. His father said, You did a very good deed. Take this cow as a gift in exchange of what you have lost. This is the cow the tribes were looking for. The tribes came to the youth to purchase it and asked for the price. It is narrated that the youth asked for two dinars. They said, we will offer you one dinar. The youth consulted with his mother and she said, sell it for four dinars. He told them that my mother says it should be sold for four dinars. They said, we will give you two dinars. He consulted with his mother again and she said, sell it for 100 dinars. They said, we will pay 50 dinars. This kept going and the price kept on increasing until it reached the demand that they should pay it by filling the skin with gold once it's slaughtered. They had no choice but to purchase the cow. According to narrations, this cow was huge and heavy. They filled the skin with gold and ended up using 5 million dinars. There are many lessons we can learn from this story, but the main story we want to point out is look at how Allah humiliates the arrogant and the disobedient. The disobedient people lost their whole treasury in this world just by not obeying to simple instructions due to their arrogance. They have also lost their hereafter for their disbelief. And look at how Allah rewards those who believe and obey their parents. Allah rewarded the youth a life full of treasure in this world and a permanent reward in the hereafter. The Quran makes it clear that being kind and respecting parents is an obligation that we must all do. Parents go to a great deal of trouble raising and educating their children. They even put their own lives in danger to save their children. The least a child can do is respect and care for their parents, especially when they reach an old age.